Oh, hey there. I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another video of a game called Hydraneer. We have a very important thing ahead of us today. It's called a giveaway. Hooray, the developer reached out to me and fulfilled his promise of giving us some keys if you guys liked the video enough. So how do giveaways work on my channel? Well, occasionally through this video, the Steam keys will pop up. You'll see a big long line of text just like this one. And once somebody puts that into Steam and redeems it, then you are a winner. That's how giveaways work in the videos on Blitz channel. I don't do the crazy things like sign up on Twitter and do all this other stuff. Uh, but it is appreciated if you do subscribe to the video, like the video, and go check out the game and wishlist it on Steam. All of those links are down below in the video description. You can do that. And then I will say if you did get one of the keys to post down below saying that you redeemed it. So that is what I'm going to tell you guys to do, and they are hidden throughout this video, so make sure you check on them and figure out where they are. So if you find one, go ahead and redeem it, and uh, thank the developer too, because he's awesome, and he's given us stuff like that. If you guys like it, maybe, I don't know, in the future we'll be able to do another one, maybe when the game releases, but we'll see. Um, and thank you guys for all the support you've done here, because it's been amazing. You guys love this game. So we're going to continue doing it. Um, speaking of loving it, Last video, you commented over a thousand times telling me that I'm a dummy and that I forgot to put the, the drill on, on the ground because drills drill the ground, not wood. Right. Makes, uh, makes sense. I don't even, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> drill, bro. Oh, this thing's so annoying too. That water is so loud. Okay, ready? And nope, not. Okay, ready? And then up one. See, that's the problem I was running into. If I turn it one. Okay, is that gonna work? Is that, is that, is that do the thing where the thing works? And if I hit doop and whoop and whoop. No! Come back here. And, and whoop and whoop. Really? Oh, that one. That, okay. I did that already. And then if we do this one down here. <laughs> are, you, are you functioning? Oh! Oh! It's working! It's... It worked. Once. It's vibrating. Oh! Oh! We got... We got chicken nuggets popping out of here. Oh my word. This is amazing. Oh, poop nuggets. Now I gotta go get water. So I filled my bucket. Let's go use the brush and see what we get out of this. I'm hoping we can have like a, a nugget space program again. Ready? And... Oh. That wasn't... Wasn't very large nuggy nuggy. These ones are better. <laughs> those those are much nicer. Looks like we got some work ahead of us today then. There's something very satisfying about putting all these giant gold nuggets into one vat. I'm gonna make so much money off of this. And yes, yes, I know. I know that if I don't filter the water, it's gonna break my drill. It broke it, but I did get a few of these potatoes. Look at these giant potatoes. I really want to use one. Can I throw one? Is, I feel like it's too large for the to be in charge. Is it... Would you go in in the hole real quick? Would you sit in there? <laughs> How am I supposed to? What do you do with a giant chicken nugget? I don't even know right now. Hey, put it in the bucket. Right in the bucket. Oh! <laughs> okay, this is going to be great. Ready? And then if I just, just stupid. My house is too small. I need to get, destroy all the walls in it. All right, let's test this out. We're going to put it in the water. We're going to get a little splash splash. They got they the splash splash. I really hate the sound of it. So let's bring it over somewhere, and we're gonna just see how much money is in in one of those giant nuggets. Okay, here we go, giant potato. To give me the secrets of your people. That was it. That was everything. One of the giant nuggets. <laughs> All that gold still trying to melt in there. Wow. There's oh, they're melted. Oh, this is gonna be like the most expensive thing ever. Where's my? Where's the other dumb thing? That's dumb. Where'd it go? Hey, dummy, where are you? There it is. I found the dumb thing. There we go. Hi, dumb thing. Lay down. And then I'll grab this, and we pour in there. Aha! Beautiful day. Throw that on top of that. Hmm, do I have an anvil? I don't have an anvil. Shoot. So the question is, if I'm going to make a gigantic ring of giganticness, <laughs> this doesn't even fit, uh, which flavor of gemstone should I use? We've got some big ones. I, I'm kind of partial to the large ruby. Emeralds are cool. I don't really know the price difference. So let's take all three of them, I guess. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is nice. Probably don't do that again. Be a good idea. There we go. Much better this time. I feel like I've ruined this whole zone. It's just ruined. Okay. Oh, I can't grab the hammer. That's right. Because I lost the other little hammer. 
Shoot, I do have two little chicken nuggets there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if any of these gems are worth more than the other gems. That 166, 151, and the ruby is 159. Okay, so I'm gonna sell both of these. So I need to buy another one of these wood foundation hammer things. No, I don't, I, you know what? Just get out of my life. <laughs> That's the only way to despawn them I've found. Okay, construction hammer, 42 monies, drop you in, press the button, throw it in the back of the truck, perfect. I should have just bought a second anvil. That would have been easier. I'm just gonna pick one up with my bare fists. Yes, I'm so strong. Those are like 500 pounds, by the way. All right, Mr. Bucket. Let's put you down here. We're gonna take this gigantic chicken nugget of gold, throw you in the old fire machine, take a beautiful emerald, I love emeralds, and we're gonna make a ring out of it. There we go, one in one. All right, looks ready to go. And put it down, click the thing, and boom! Ooh, look at that thing! That's like a giant ring. Think of the finger that would that thing would go on to. Okay, so this is our big money maker right here. So I need to find a jeweler that specializes in actual jewelry here. Do you specialize in jewelry, Mr. Jeweler? Oh, the rings are down though. You see that? If you zoom real slowly, tip it upside down and put it backwards, it looks like the ring is the red arrow. So if I just go to sleep a few times, and we drive back to check on it. Oh, it looks like we got a green arrow. Yeah, boy, Blitz figured out the game. All right, drum roll, everybody. How much is our ring gonna be worth? We got a green arrow. It says 5424, my guess is 2000. Ready? Are you ready? It should say right, right over here. $17,420.73. Let's see how the big stock, oh yes! That was amazing. <laughs> that was way more than I thought. Oh, we gotta just combine our pennies together. I made $17,000 on a single ring, and that's not even what I was planning on doing for this video. Let's see if Dre can beat that. I don't think he might have actually. You guys said Diesel made one for like 80,000. So I gotta beat both of them? Oh yeah, I wanted to bring down my anvil and stuff. Let's actually go to the store first. I'm thinking it's time that we get some conveyor belts moving and a proper amount of filters set up. Now that I finally have a big stack of coin, I had no idea it was gonna be 17,000 monies. Oh, look at the cute little penny. You know what I should do? I should throw these 17,000 down into the well, see what happens. Maybe if we get 100,000, we'll throw it in the well to see if it does anything cool. So you guys said I need like four filters in a row. I'm gonna have to get two of these spanners, which are stupidly expensive. And also some of these eventually, the conveyor belts. 260,000 for a conveyor belt? Wow. All right, so it's been a little while, um, and I didn't I didn't bring you guys with me on everything that I've done, but I wanted to try some stuff out. These are the I forgot I forgot to purchase it. <laughs> don't don't do this when you go to Walmart. Uh, I promise you, not good things will happen. I hope this will actually work. I've not messed with these at all. Maybe we should do a test. I'm hoping I should put I should be able to put two of these together. Uh, uh wow! This is a lot of money. Too bad we still have 15,000 left. Now I do know an annoying thing about these, and about all I know is that they require water. Uh -huh. Please have a bucket. Please have a bucket. Please have a bucket. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to go to my house and just hang out. Yeah, this is my house. Stay out of here. Please have a bucket. Please have a bucket. <laughs> a shard backpack. Like, oh, hey, buckets. Yeah, that's what I need. No, oh, I forgot to buy the dumb bucket again. Don't do that at Walmart. I really need to make a gas station for this thing. Ugh, it's really annoying jumping on it and dropping the water bucket in. Oh, no. Oh, no, I did it again. Oh, no. Hey. Oh. Landed it. Perfect. Perfect job. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, we'll just take this out. And we'll take that out right here. And this one. Got it. Everything I needed. That was perfect. Okay, so I got one working. Now, what is this? How does this work? If I connect you there? Oh, no way. That's so cool. Look, it's actually going up. Okay, now if I do the same here, will they? Will it feed a chicken nugget all the way from the bottom up to the top? Can I also be... Uh-oh. Oh, I can also ride it. Wow. That's kind of cool. It's like satisfactory. So let's grab my little gold nugget. All right, my little nuggety friend. Teach me the ways of your people. Oh, 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 it worked. It worked. 
Oh, it wor- Oh, this is the best day of my life this week today. It's only Monday. Something else I didn't show you guys at all uh, is the improvements that I've done down down in that hole. <laughs> yeah, you might have you might have caught a little glimpse of it, just a little one, just an itty bitty one. But I'm about to show you what we've done. Now, my idea, I know, I don't get many of them often, so that's why I'm showing you this really cool idea, is that I want to take all of these conveyor, all of these conveyor belts and bring all of that ore and garbage that we collect all the way up to the surface. So check this out. I've made a staircase to heaven. Actually, not heaven, because there's a lot of gold down here. I'd probably want to be down below. And if it's really hot outside, it's a lot cooler down underground. But I did make a cool staircase with a little bit of a platform. I've got a few extra boxes. And my goal is to bring up all the loot we get from this beautiful thing. I don't know which way this goes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I needed to get the loot over there. And we're going to make it go all the way up. Now, my thought was that I can just run it on top of these but I didn't realize that um, all of these pipes connected so I really like this by the way um, it's my favorite thing I've done today oh you know what I actually have to bring that back one because this has got to go up I think it'll work let's see will you work will you work where are you oh my dudes look at that so I just need to buy one 13 more now the question is, how do you get 13 of these dorks to stay in the back of a truck? Do I have to do this the old fashioned way? I actually have to jump in there? I think once they're in the truck, they sit on top of each other? Yeah. If I did my counting right, this is 16. I'm not gonna say I actually did my counting right though. I'll just back right up there. Get out. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to do, by the way. Just go full speed and then just like, yep, yeah, I'm done. Wow, I did have extras. Good thing I bought extras. Like in real life, when I have something break down and I have to go to the hardware store, I usually buy everything that's kind of like what I need, and then I go return everything. Uh, because, well, frankly, it's never any fun forgetting something and then having to make six trips back because your toilet didn't have the right part. Yeah, I did that a few months ago. I had a little piece of my toilet break, so I had to shut off the water, and then the water valve broke. So I had to go turn off the water to the house, go to the store and i went six times i went to the same store six times because i forgot the right part so now i just buy everything in the store and then they look at me funny when i return 14 different items that are all pretty much the same you guys didn't really need to know that whole story but yes <laughs> that true story from the blitztopian household now i'm gonna get some weird email from somebody's mom telling them that i, I poop yep that'll happen and then boop, 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 pop. Pip, pop, boop. There. No! I need a downy. I need two. I need a, a straight one here. That's not. Ugh. Okay, and then turn. Nope. That's still not the right button. And then we go like that, and then we turn it. And then we hit R. Okay, then I need a, a one corner, two corners, three corners. Is that enough? Probably. I just recognized something. I'm going to need one of these two. Harvester and stop <laughs> Just throws on the old air brakes. I love it. I don't know why I find that so funny You're just going full speed backwards over across across like an open dirty nasty field and then you just just stop Oh, excuse me. Okay, and I need to put oh, 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 yeah that oh that oh, yeah that that'll do it right perfect I don't know if this will actually work, but I'm gonna say it's gonna work because, I mean, it looks like it'll work, right? It'll just need everything, right? Probably not gonna work. What, who am I kidding? It's Hydroneer, <laughs> it's not gonna work. Here's something cool. I don't have any straight edges down here anymore. So I gotta go fix that now. I'm also wondering how much water pressure this is gonna take. Uh, not really looking forward to that. Oh, what was that noise? So let's hypothetically speaking, turn this thing on and make sure it works. Uh-huh. That's cool. We'll just pretend that one wasn't there. Yeah. Oh, or this one. Or probably that one either. Ta-da! Hey! <laughs> Are we getting water pressure? I think so. I hear a splashdown. We got a splashdown up here. That's good news. Except it's kind of in a not great spot. Is it pounding? Are we getting pounding here? It's not getting any water. Literally, it's, it's not getting any any water at all. Huh. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why are you being so dumb? 
Come on. It's got water. Maybe I need to reset it. And you know what the other thing is? You guys that love this game so much, you've been watching, like, all the YouTubers play it. I haven't been. So I don't really know what's going on right now. And you're just writing down in the comments 8 million things telling me what I do wrong without reading that someone else made the same comment 15 minutes before you. But that's cool, because I like it when you guys communicate with me, and I do read them all. I'm guessing that there just is not enough water pressure here. Because that thingy's not going up and down. I think this pipe is broken. If I press the button, nothing happens. If I turn it off again, nothing happens. How can there be no pressure if the pressure's gone? Off? Oh, no, you know what? I actually removed that one. Sorry. That was a bad example. Something just very satisfying about driving at high speeds backwards and managing to control the vehicle decently well. Um... Yeah, and then you get right to your location exactly where you want it to be. Hey! <laughs> Nailed it. I'm also really annoyed by these stupid spanners. They're $73 each, and they're a one-time use. Did I already say that? They're, they're, they're a one-time use thing. So you gotta buy like 47 of them every time you visit the hardware store. And if you don't, then the time you're really gonna need it, it's gonna be 11 o'clock at night, and the store's gonna be closed, so you have to shut off the water to your whole house the night before, and you can go first thing in the morning. I'll be honest, I'm actually on first name basis with the owner of the hardware store. Yeah, uh, or the manager, not the owner. I, I, <laughs> that's not, I, I, yeah, I'm proud of it. I'll just go there. I actually know the owner of the, manager of the hardware store. He's an old friend of mine. But yep, yeah, that's what happens when you go to the hardware store a whole buttload of times. Then he laughs at you when you come back. Thanks, Eric. Thank you. All right, here we go. We're gonna turn this thing. That was dumb. I wanna turn this thing on. Maybe I don't yet. Do I wanna turn? I don't really wanna turn this on yet. Can you get in the hole? Thank you. And a boop. <laughs> it's in the hole. Okay, now I'm gonna unplug the water because oh, the water's so low. I feel like this would have been a lot easier if I would have built my base down here rather than way over there. Oh, that would take a long time to fix though. Well, my friends, I've got good news and good news this time. Actually, well, there's there's probably some other news in here somewhere, but I'm not smart enough to figure out what it is right now. Oh, well, if I turn on all of these, check it out. It just, it goes and then, and then look, you ready for this? It's moving. Look how fast it's just blazing its way through here. Check this out. If you put a gold nuggie on here, uh, it's moving so slow that nothing <laughs> really, nothing really happens. It's cause there's no pressure down here. There's no pressure. I did end up moving everything. It took me like uh, about an hour and a half to just to dig another tunnel to the surface. Yeah, I moved it just a little bit shorter and it did clear up about 10 blocks, which cures up a lot of pressure. Uh, but this thing is not functioning. <laughs> like the pressure tanks over here, I dug for a long time until I could find another, another big crystal thing. And they just, something's wrong with it. I don't know if it's my own incompetence, but something just is not working correctly and I'm not sure why, but I'm gonna just try to put this in there and see if we can speed up the, the thingy. There, that one's working. So does the conveyor belt get faster now? That was pretty, oh it is, that's cool. The conveyor belt's actually functioning. Yay! So yeah, that one finally works now. Uh, that's cool, does it work for, oh it does work for dirt. That's even better, kind of works. Kind of works for dirt. <laughs> Look at him climb, that's awesome. So that's really good actually. Um, I wonder, can you just dig and put it on there? No, of course not. That would have been too easy. But I can drop it like it's hot, right? And boop. Nice. See, that does work. And then it comes up into this thing, which is not turned on because I don't have enough pipes for it. And I'm wondering... Oh, it's so loud and annoying. <laughs> Hello down there! Hello! It, you can't really hear anything because it's so far down. It is always fun trying to clean up all the gold nuggets that have been littered around everywhere. So I had to run back to the hardware store in this morning. Uh, and I wanted to try something out. You guys said that if you enter the back of the truck just regularly like this, it works fine. But if you enter the vehicle when you're inside the vehicle like this, that's where things get weird. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, look at that. Look at how smart, look at, uh oh. <laughs> um, no. Thank you. There we go. 
Hey, we figured out a bug. Now if I do my math right, I need one here. So let's turn this thing back on just like so, sort of. Hey, that'll work. And it's in, okay. I hope water is flowing. And Geronimo! Uh oh, <laughs> that was great. Okay, now if I do my big, big brain, break, break, I can't, I'm stuck. Yeah, mind my way out of here. All right, big brain time now. Big brain. If I click on this. Hey, 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 oh! <laughs> yes! Do it again. Why aren't you doing it again? Ah, I did it again! Okay, we can shut that off. So if I press the button, I don't know. We gotta do the old dummy test. Okay, now are you on? There we go, we got water. We've got water! Okay, the water goes down. Water goes down. I'm gonna have to get a shard to power it. Hey, that's functioning. I think. Okay, now if I, if I really wanna know if this whole deal works. Oh, hey, it's spitting money out. Um, okay. That means it's on. It's just not, pre we don't have any, this stuff's not working. We need more pressure there. Cool. Something quite satisfying about watching money just get spit across the room. <laughs> Yay. Even more satisfying if these things worked. Yeah, that'd be better. Cause then you could just turn this on and it would go pa-ching and it would spit out a chicken nugget and then the chicken nugget would go and then drop in the top of it. That'd be so cool. Oh, there goes another one. Okay, you need to be shut off. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, I gave it the juice from this thing. I'm gonna have to run another power line down here if it does work. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Why are you stuck? Why did you get stuck? That's not okay. Getting stuck is not okay right now. Go, Rocky, go. Go, Rocky, go. Go, Rocky, go, Rocky. Uh-oh, the other one stopped. Ah, uh, it won't go over? Really? She won't fall, why? Why is this so difficult? Why are you being so dumb right now? Oh, now it turned on. What? Why did it just randomly turn on? I've got it messed up. This is the one that should be getting filtered. Huh, yeah. I don't know why it's stopping right there though. All right, so I've got a big problem. <laughs> I don't have enough pressure. This is definitely pressure related, how that, that chicken nugget won't go up top. And if that's pressure related, then yes, I could use the pressure tank. Um, except I've been mining for a long time, like a, a super long time, like a really super long time. And I've only gotten one pressure shard, uh, just one of them. So I'm trying to use stupid golden get, thank you. Um, I've been trying just for an hour, trying to get two pressure shards and I can't. Um, so I've got a really ungood feeling about this, that uh, this deep down base is not gonna work. To add to that, if I do turn this thing on, watch. Oh, you dirty pig. Why aren't you working now? Well, if I turn it on, I get like little scrap and I get gems and, and ores like this big. Uh-huh, yeah, like that. that's my pile. So this deep down digging thing works great if you're using a shovel, uh, but having an underground base doesn't seem to work if you wanna get the big nuggets. Which, I mean, it makes sense, especially since this is all automated. Um, but with that said, we're gonna make another ring because I wanna beat my record and there should be a lot more money here. So I'm just sitting here mining for like an hour and I'm starting to go a little bit crazy with that constant water dripping sound. Isn't there like an old like torture device where you drop water on someone's head or something like that? That's the way I feel. You can only listen to water dropping so long and it is like a really annoying pitch too. It's just kind of grating. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Yay. Well, yeah, there's, I'm not getting any shards, so I'm not gonna be able to extend the water. It gives me another idea though, especially if this is not working right, that I could make a top, um, like a, a, a factory on the surface level right next to the water. So let's run over and get out of, oh yeah, that's what our, that's what we needed right there. Okay, you drop down here. That's also full of iron. There should be a ton of it in there or silver, whatever it is. All right, so let's see how big of a gold bar we get out of this. I mean, it's gonna be the same size gold bar as we always get, but it could be worth a lot of money. Yeah, pour it right in there. Hey, we got the iron. We're gonna make into uh, probably a dagger. All right, and this is all melted. So I'll pour you in. Beautiful. 
shovel ingots in the old fireplace. Now, which gem should we use? I think this one. This one looks good. Which one was gold? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, that one. Okay. And ready, get set, and smack. Another ring, another ring, ring, bling, bling. And we'll make a dagger here. Uh, I think that's not it. This one should be it. And dagger time. That's not a dagger. And bingo. Beautiful. I don't know. Is this a jeweler? It is... I don't think I want to sell to you. We can quick take a quick look and see how much it's worth. Okay, you're a jeweler. So if I give you that, 8,960. Yeah, not like the 17,000 we had earlier. And the S word, 765, okay. So let's see, the daggers, 1513. Oh, wait, what? Wasn't that about the same price as the last place? Whatever, I'm just gonna check. I'm gonna check here. Oh, this one could be better. That was 17,000, that's a huge ring. Just sleeping in the bed, sleeping in the bed, <laughs> waiting for prices to change all day, every, I'll sit here all week. I don't get hungry, I don't need water. Ooh, hey, it worked. All right, so the other one was like, right at like 17.5, I think it was, I don't remember. It was yesterday, I, like I've been playing about six hours since then. So, 18,600 money. This is my most expensive ring ever. Ow! That's so cool. And now I just made like a sell of about 20,000. Did Dre beat that? I don't really know. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below. But I just made 19,000 monies selling two items. That's pretty awesome. And, um, well, I guess we'll see you next time. Good job to the winners. I hope that you guys enjoy the game if you did get one of those keys. So, see you next time. Bye!